Good morning once again and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doris and the word that I have for you today is just a word of encouragement, a word of hope for those who have been feeling tired, for those who have been feeling weary, for those of you who have been contending for your promises for a very long time and now you feel exhausted. So before we get to the word, let us pray. Father, I thank you, I bless you, and I glorify your name, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for yet another opportunity that you have given me to share your word with your people. Lord, I pray that this word is going to be a blessing, it's going to be an encouragement, and it's going to be a revelation to somebody. May you anoint your word, my Father, even as I release it, that whoever is going to hear this word, Father, they shall hear that which you are saying to them in this season. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The Lord gave me several scriptures, but I will just share a few with you. In the book of Psalms, chapter 31, verses 24, it says, Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that hope in the Lord. Luke 22:43. it says, And there appeared to him an angel from heaven, strengthening him. Ephesians 6, 10 says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Isaiah 35, verses 3 to 4, it says, Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who have an anxious heart, Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God will come with vigilance. With the recompense of God, he will come to save you. This word is for those people who have gone through seasons, seasons of intense wilderness experience, seasons of being prepared, of being processed in the wilderness. This word is for those people who have received prophetic words. You have received promises from God and you have been contending for these prophecies. You have been contending for these for this prophetic words over your life for a very long season and now you are tired and you are weary and you have been expecting that by this time these promises should have been fulfilled in your life. You are expecting that by this time you are supposed to have been working out these promises in your life but nothing has manifested yet and you are, you are exhausted, you are tired. This word is for those of you who have been crying out to God. You have been telling God, I trust you. I believe in you. I'm just so tired. It's been so long. You feel maybe like some point or another you missed God. There are times that you even second guess yourself. You second guess what you heard from God. Your hope has been deferred so many times and now your heart is sick with disappointment. Every time you have been expecting a breakthrough, something will come up and sabotage it and your expectation will be cut off. You have been feeling spiritually tired. You are emotionally drained. And it seems like you have been in a, in a prolonged, exhausting season of waiting. And you just can't see an end to it. You have been crying out to God. Lord, I've come too far. I've endured so much. I can't quit now. I can't go back now. I can't give up. But I'm just so tired. You know, you know that God's promises in your life is yes and amen. You know that God is working out things for your good. You know that his covenants in your life is everlasting. But you're just so tired. You're tired of waiting. You're weary of contending. And you feel like your enemies are getting stronger by the day. And your strength is just 
seeping out of you. You have been crying to God, how long, Lord? How long must I endure this? How long will I keep on waiting? How long, Lord, will this situation prevail in my life? If this word resonates with you, this is the word of God to you. This is what your father is saying to you. And I'm going to read it. I have released angels from heaven to strengthen you. That is what your father is saying to you. There are angels at work on your behalf. There is connectivity in your life with heaven. You may not be aware of it, but you are a focus of angelic activity right now. Angels are moving and going on your behalf. Your prayers are being attended to. You stand under an open heaven where you are. There is nothing standing between you and your father. There is nothing standing between you and all the resources of heaven. Your father is saying to you, don't lose heart. You are about to be revived. You are about to be refreshed. You are about to be soaked with his glory. God is saying to you, I know, I know that you have been contending for long. I know that you are weary. I know that you are tired, but keep taking one step, just one step of faith at a time. All I need from you is just the faith of a mustard seed. You will see my deliverance explode over your life in this season. I'm opening a way before you. I'm opening up streams which will start to flow in your life where there has been deserts, where there has been wastelands. Your father is saying to you, there is a way that is opening up for you where you have felt stuck, where you have felt stagnant, don't give up. You are on the threshold and bringing the promises to you. Your father is saying to you, you are breaking free. You are breaking free from all assignments of delay and you are moving into your promises. You are moving into your season of fulfillment. The Lord is saying to you, I'm releasing you from the weights and the cares that have been weighing you down. I'm releasing you from the hardships that you have encountered. I'm moving you. And I am removing the heavy burdens and the shackles that has held you captive. I am releasing you from hurtful memories of the past that brought pain and sorrow. And I am setting you free from the things that was against your soul that brought fear and confusion in your life. Continue to press in continue to stand on my word there is a time of refreshing that is coming upon you the lord is saying to you i am your strength i am your sustenance i am your hope i am your shield i am your salvation the Lord is saying to you, you can do nothing without me. Put away the desires of the flesh. That long season of waiting where you have experienced distress, that long season of waiting where you have experienced attack on every side from the enemy is coming to an end. I know the Lord is saying to you, I know that it has been a very difficult place for you to be in, but it was necessary. I have been removing long-standing hearts, offenses, chains from your past that you didn't even know was there. I know that you've been experiencing pressure. I know that you've been experiencing frustration in spite of the delay, in spite of the threats, in spite 
of the unseen tenities and the counseled plans, my spirit is moving where you are. That constant siege of the enemy that has been in your life is ending. I am vindicating you. I'm defending you. That tiredness, that weariness of your Egypt season is ending. Your waiting season is coming to an end. You are coming into renewed strength of vision. Receive new strength in this season. Cast your cares upon me, for I care for you. I am your father, and I love you with an everlasting love. And there is nothing that can separate you from my love, which is in Christ Jesus. That is the word that your father, God, gave me to release to you. For you who have been crying out, Lord, I'm tired, I'm weary. There is no more strength inside of me. Hold on to, hold on to that promise, hold on to that word. He knows where you are at. He sees where you are at. He is coming through for you. I would like to leave you with this scripture in um, Matthew. Matthew chapter 11 verses 28 to 30. And this is what it says. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i am meek and lowly in heart and you shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light god bless you so much i appreciate all of you thank you for liking and for sharing my videos thank you for subscribing to my channel i thank you all of you who are giving into this ministry may the lord abundantly bless you and i pray for a hundredfold return for all you are giving for all of you who have been sending me your prayer request i am praying with you i am praying for you i love you guys so much Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your emails. They are a source of encouragement and a source of comfort for me. I love you guys.